This is Patrick Pitesman's covers in Order of Insanity, part two. In the first episode, if you haven't watched it already, put 10 of his covers into this tier list um, from easy to SSS, SS plus tier. And that was based regarding their difficulty. In this video, I've got 10 more for you and we're gonna be basically adding to the tier list in the first episode. So without further ado, let's get into the first cover. Okay, so this is Time from Inception. I think this is a fairly easy one, um, so I think I'm going to be putting it in the easy tier. I think hard things to watch out for is about at about 2 minutes 50 in, you've got hands crossing over each other, so that requires a fair bit of precision. But as I said, not much to it. The more powerful, the simpler it is, so I think we're going to be putting it uh, just behind Lord of the Rings. On to the next cover. Uh, this is Jurassic Park. Absolutely beautiful melody. I think it's really well built as well as an arrangement. But yeah, I think the hardest section is around two and a half minutes. So you've got semi-quavers which fill in uh, in between the melody, and that's always difficult to bring out the melody notes. So I think for those reasons, we're going to be putting it in hard, um, and I don't think it's quite as hard as Black Art. So I think we're just going to put it in just behind that. Okay, next cover we've got is Harry Potter. <laughs> Out is Esther. I think it's harder than Fly the Silverbird for sure. You've got a lot of scales, you've got a lot of arpeggios, you've got a lot of synchronized movement between the hands, contrary motion as well. I think it's about 1 minute 45 in or so, you've got huge octave jumps in the left hand. So yeah, I think for those reasons it's definitely the hardest piece we've looked at so far. Above Fly the Silverbird, above Star Wars. Yeah, without a doubt. Okay, next piece we're looking at is Echoes from the Past. I think this is one of his own compositions. really delicate melody um, and I think it's really well built. It is really long though um, and obviously longer pieces are going to be harder to learn just because they're longer and also the longer you start playing for the more likely you are to make a mistake. And also the arpeggiated melody here just after I think five minutes is insanely difficult so that's obviously going to bump it up a fair bit. So yeah, I think for those reasons we're going to be putting it in God tier. Yeah I think we'll put it in just above Immaterial. Okay next piece we've got is Up is Down. I think this is from Pirates of the Caribbean 3. sections to worry about you've just got a lot of octaves pretty much the melody throughout the entire thing is in octaves um, fair bit of semi quavers but not too much now uh, this piece is very repetitive yeah I, th I think we'll put it in hard um, and we'll put it just behind overwatch okay next piece we've got is star sky This piece has got a really powerful melody. Um, it is really repetitive though, which is a shame. And occasionally you have that arpeggiated run in the right hand, which is difficult. Yeah, once again, there's a lot of octaves in it as well. I think we'll put it in hard and we'll put it just above Jurassic Park. I think they're pretty close though. Next piece we've got is Misty Mountains from The Hobbit. I think this is a fairly easy one. We've got a couple simple left hand figurations. Yeah, I think the hardest sections are around just after a minute and I think at two minutes as well. That's where you have arpeggios which span I think two or more octaves. So yeah, I think we'll put it I think we'll put it in easy. We will put it just above time. I don't think it's harder than Lord of the Rings. Next piece we've got is June 1, I believe. This 
piece requires a lot of hand independence. Uh, you've got contrary motion like, and also similar motion. So both hands are playing in semi-quavers but just in opposite directions. And I think, at least for me, that's always been difficult. However, like I've mentioned with a few other ones, it does repeat a lot. Hence why I wouldn't rank it really higher than hard. But yeah, I think, I think we'll put it in hard. I think we'll put it just behind black art even though I think these are pretty close. Next piece we're going to be looking at is Tune 2. I think this one's really recent from him, actually. I think this piece is slightly easier than June 1, and once again, it's a beautiful melody. I think with pieces like this, the arrangement should be slightly simpler, just so it doesn't take away from the natural beauty of the piece. So I think for that, we're gonna be putting it uh, below High Strange Dragon in medium tier, I think. Okay, the last piece we're gonna be looking at is from Attack on Titan. It's got a pretty complicated name, so I'm not gonna try and butcher it. Vogel im Käfig. I think we'll put it just above time. Uh, there's a few difficult sections sort of in the middle of the piece. Yeah, there's a couple octaves, there's a few repeating right hand patterns. Um, but yeah, it's, it's overall it's not too bad. I'll put it just above time. So this is our modified part two tier list. If you want to see a part three, then obviously drop a like and a comment. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.